Hey, it's Rocket Rose coming at you from the good, gorgeous Prince George's. This is going to be a quick little video. I'm actually just out here taking the bike for a spin because it is deep in the heart of winter. It is like something like the third week of January. The temperature is right around, I don't know, 19 degrees or something. You see the bike says 23, but the bike usually runs a little higher than, you know, the phone apps and such. Nothing special going on. I'm just going to take a little half hour ride. I'm going to go to the park, I think. Shoot a little video real quick and then park. Basically, it's about to um, rain, sleet, and snow today um, in the course of the next couple of hours. Uh, so I hadn't been out on the bike. It's been, you know, it's been terribly cold the last week or two. And as you can see, there's snow on the ground. The snow had finally begun to melt down. The roads are pretty much clear of ice. So I wanted to take this quick window to just to get the bike running, you know, get the get the oil boiling. And um, warm her up a bit. And then I'm gonna park her again. Um, and y'all know, I, I'm, a, I'm a winter rider, for the most part, but because of the ice, I haven't really been able to take the bike out like I would have liked to. Um, and then also, I've just been busy. But I don't like having a bike sit parked for weeks at a time, and so, I wanted to take advantage of this opportunity to just get it out. I am wearing my heated gloves. That's actually the only heated gear I'm wearing right now. And usually, these heated gloves will get my hands good and hot. But I'll tell you, yeah, I don't typically ride when it's under 20 degrees, but... I mean, they're keeping my hands warm enough, but they're not hot. And in fourth gear, can we get it up to 6,000? Eh, not really. We're going to go up here in the park real quick. They still got the lights up on the holidays. I don't know if they light them up at night anymore, the Festival of Lights. But, um, there's an ice, is that an ice patch? No, it's not. The road is pretty clear. gloves. They're keeping my hands from freezing, but they're not doing their usual thing of getting my hands hot. I don't really ride when it's below freezing um, much. I've done it before, but, you know, I'll ride down in the 40s and under my jacket, the inner liner, and I didn't see it. I was looking for it. I didn't see it. So I just decided to come on out without it. And I'm okay. I don't know. I got on like four layers or something. You know, and Kevlar riding pants are hot in the summertime, so I'm wearing them with some thermals underneath them, so you know, that's like three layers on the legs. 
riding boots. Hmm, they're good enough. Usually I wear two um, pair of socks in the winter in the riding boots, but I knew I wasn't going that far. So I didn't really worry about that. What is he pushing? Is that a stroller? Oh my god, they got a baby out at 20 degrees? Okay, I'm not that crazy. I mean, and basically I just wanted to run the bike for 20 to 30 minutes and yeah, it's probably about 15 minutes in at this point. I'm gonna stop, chit chat, and then going back about my business. Oh, I wanna run on the gravel. It's open, if it's open, then I mean I can ride on it? Stop, chill. You ain't supposed to be riding on there. But it's gravel, and I can see it. I can see it right there. Uh, it would have been a good morning to walk on a cold trail. Uh, here we go. So there we go. On the Africa Twin. 2020 version. 1100cc. 1084 to be exact. Let's see, there's something I wanted to show you. Oh, yeah, it was some oxidation on the brakes. It looks like I cleaned it off a bit, just with the riding I did just now. Um, that's about it. Once the engine's heated up. It's not hot. It is warm. Now, I'm feeling the air. playing with the Christmas tree. Can y'all see the little kid? I don't know if y'all can see the little kid. Some of that stuff off in the distance doesn't show up as well, but it's cute. So now, now that I've stopped and I'm standing here, the gloves are really heating up. So it was being out in the wind chill with the bike rolling, they weren't able to get to the, get hot. But now that I'm still, they are heating up. These are some great gloves. What brand are they? I don't know. But I really like them. They do have some padding. They're not really, say, motorcycle gloves per se. But there's nothing hard here. They do have a lot of padding in them though. So from that standpoint, but definitely on a day when it's under 20 degrees, we're going to err on the side of warmth. Can't ride a bike with frozen hands. We're approaching 5,000 miles. I guess we'll do a 5,000 mile review. I'll tell you, the one thing about bike life, you're always meeting people. And this Africa Twin, this is a very, well, it's a tall bike, number one. 
you know, it's not a, the biggest bike, but it is a good size bike. It's tall and it, is, it catches a person's eye. And, and I am no, I know how the, the mic works. You guys might not have been able to hear what he was saying. But um, he's a Goldwing rider. He showed me a picture of his Goldwing. And um, said he's rode it down to Florida. He's rode it across the country. Um, and, but he's thinking about adding um, an ADV bike so that he can do some of the tours that they do, you know. And he's, I think he was talking about doing like, he said South America, I don't know what you're thinking, Patagonia or what, um, but <clears throat> y'all know they got these tours you can do, go to South America, do Patagonia, go do some tours across Southern Africa. Um, you know, I don't know if I ever see them advertising European tours. I think they kind of just assume with Europe, you're going to do it on your own. But, I wouldn't mind doing it. Oh, you know, I have seen some guided tours in Europe. Um, Mr. The Flyer did one. I don't remember where he went. Did Serbia, Croatia, somewhere like that. Um, other than that, I don't know if any of the tours I've seen been guided. But I would love to go ride to, you know, Scotland, to the high country. Maybe hit up Ireland. You know, I've been getting a little bit more into the Eastern Europe thing. I wouldn't mind going to do a ride in somewhere like Bulgaria, um, Romania, specifically Transylvania. That would be cool. Kind of want to go hit up Lithuania. Because I'm just a little Lithuanian lad trying to find his way in the world. Like I said, the whole point of this was to just run the bike a little bit. I don't know how I'm going to edit this. i got to chop it down. But I've only been out for about 20, 30 minutes. And I'm probably only going to show 10 minutes at the most of this ride. So let's try that. Rocket rolls. Over and out. <laughs> 